Hello, and welcome to another episode of All Things Microservices. And in this episode, what we do is we're going to take a look at a new feature in Console Service Mesh, which is Ingress Gateways. So Ingress Gateways are a new feature, and they've, they kind of went into beta in version 1.8. What an Ingress Gateway allows you to do is it allows you to define an entry point into your application. So we've got traffic, which is coming outside of the service mesh, and we want to bring it into the service mesh. So that could be a, a sort of a public endpoint that you just want to register out your load balancer, or it could be a, a sort of an external service running inside of a different DC. So the gateways run, they're based on Envoy, like a lot of the things running as the data plane, and then you can configure console to, to be able to configure those. So let's, uh, let's take a look at uh, what we're going to build and let's spin something up. So what we're going to build is this. We're going to take a look at this simple example. So we're going to have the, the user, which is sitting out here, and they are going to talk TLS. So we're going to use a standard SSL connection to an ingress gateway. And the ingress gateway is going to be able to route using host header mapping between two services, a web application and an API service. In order to spin up the demo, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a tool that I've written called Shipyard. Well, say I've written, written with my good buddy, Eric, but um, Shipyard will allow you to build these composable environments. And it's kind of like Docker Compose on steroids, but um, it all runs on Docker. It's super easy to use. So let's spin this up. So what I'm going to do is run that command. So I can run the command as an all-in-one, and I'll make sure I put everything down below in the links there for you. So when this environment is, is spinning up, and it just takes about 30 seconds or so, we're going to create this setup here. So we're going to create an ingress gateway, and we're going to create two services. They're all going to be registered to console service mesh, and they're all going to be connected together. So there we go. That's spun up now. In just a second, there we go. We can start seeing console. And those services are registered inside console. So I've got API, I've got the main console server, I've got web, and I've got my ingress gateway. And my ingress gateway will go healthy in just a moment once that health check passes. So let's take a quick look at the configuration itself. So the configuration after I've um, I've installed and, and run Shipyard with that sort of that all in one, that curl, is going to be in my home folder. So if I go into my home folder, Shipyard, I can see a bunch of uh, files there. So I want to go into blueprints and it's going to be github.com shipyard blueprints and it is console ingress. And this contains a blueprint. So let me let me just kind of show you what's going on before we dig into the, the gateway itself. So shipyard blueprint just allows you to spin up a bunch of resources. So we have our ingress application, which is our console connect gateway. And we have other things such as we've got a console server, some documentation, and I'm defining a network. So this is, is kind of, it's very similar to Docker Compose, but, but we, we kind of take a more declarative approach. So I'm using console 1.8 beta 2, and I'm just running that console setup with a very standard sort of set of configuration. So let's take a look at that config. There we go. So I'm running it in dev mode. I'm just going to throw the data at the temp folder. I don't need anything there. Dev debug, because again, I'm, I'm running this in dev mode. In your production cluster, you're obviously not going to be having the parameters like that. Data center is going to be DC1. Primary is uh, DC1. I have a single node, again, dev mode, enabling the UI. And I'm just kind of configuring the bind address and the client address, and also the, the advertise address, because there's, there's more than, than one. IP address on that system. So for console connect to work, I need to enable the, um, the connect service here, enable to be true. And I'm just setting a default config entry. So if you're not familiar with um, console connect or how to configure it, or L7 configuration or anything like that, I'll, I'll put a link um, down below as a, as a bit of a refresher on that. But ultimately, we're, we're just bootstrapping this with a basic configuration, which is saying that all our services running in the gateway are using HTTP. So that spins up console. So now let's take a look at the gateway. So our gateway 
is very, very simple. So the gateway just needs is Envoy. That's all it needs. But what we're going to do is we can use this console bootstrap command. So we're going to do console connect Envoy as a bootstrap command. And what that will do is that will discover any of the configuration information it needs from the control plane, and it will start the Envoy proxy instance. So in order to do that, I just use this, this container here, uh, conf console Envoy. And what this is, it's just a container which contains the console agent, um, binary, and also Envoy. So it's running console 181 and also Envoy 114. Sorry, 014. All right. So what's next? Well, we're defining a network. So it's on a network. It's in running in Docker. And it's going to have an IP address of 10.5.0.200. I'm setting a couple of aliases for that. And I'll come back to those in a moment. But everything else is fairly straightforward. I'm just defining some ports. This is um, not accessible externally. And then I'm exposing port 443 of the ingress gateway to my local host. And you look at this and you're like, well, Nick, I don't see anywhere where you're defining port 443. And that's true. So let's take, um, let's dig in a little bit. So if I look at what shipyard spun up for me, I've just got a bunch of Docker containers. The gateway is this one here. So the gateway is going to be, let me just curl it. So it's um, web dot, sorry, ingress dot container shipyard.run. So that doesn't work on port 80 because it doesn't exist. You can do HTTPS. And again, there's nothing going on there. It's, um, it's unable to connect. And the reason for that is that the listener hasn't yet been started. Because running the gateway alone is not enough. What you need to do is you need to configure the listener with some layer 7 configuration. So in our, our system, we have these two upstreams. We've got API and we've got web. And these are the services that we want to expose to the public. So that's going to be setting up this diagram here, okay? So to do that, what we do is we're going to define some configuration, some layer 7 configuration in console. And the layer 7 configuration for ingress gateways looks like this. So I specify a time, a kind, and the kind is going to be ingress gateway. Now the name, if you look here, it says ingress service. Now the name is matching the service that I'm defining in the startup command there. So I've got the service ingress service there and the same thing there. So TLS, the TLS block allows me to enable or to, to not use at all TLS uh, connection for the, the inbound. Now, if I specify this to be true, as I've got here, what's going to happen is console will automatically bootstrap the listener to use a TLS certificate. And the certificate will be generated from the console service meshes root. So we'll, we'll look at how we can get hold of that, um, that root CA to be able to do a validated call in a little bit. But then I define my listeners. So a listener can have any port. I'm going to use 443 because I want HTTPS here, and I'm just going to use that standard convention, but you could configure this to be anything. The protocol. So the protocol is HTTP, so it's a layer 7. Don't, don't confuse that with HTTP, HTTPS. It's just the, the sort of the layer 7 protocol that the listener will use, and that's either going to be TCP, it's going to be HTTP, or gRPC. Then what we can do is we have this services block. So we can define services here. So I'm going to specify two services, service one, service two. And my first one is API. So I'm specifying the name of API. Now what the name is here, this is the name of the service as it's registered with console. So there we see API. And now the host this is the host name that we're going to use for host header matching. So the way that Envoy is going to be configured is that Envoy is going to use host header matching. So 
if there's a, a call for api.ingress.container.shipyard.run um, on port 443 with HTTPS, it will be forwarded to the API service. Likewise for web, if it receives a call for web.ingress, it's going to forward it to the web service. In addition to the, the kind of the hosts for host header matching and forwarding to be able to route to the various different services, you can, um, this will also add that to the DNS side. So it, it's going to add the, the host name to TLS certificate. So again, you can sort of validate the, the correctness of that. You don't have to define two services. You could just use a single service if you just want to expose it, um, expose it publicly, but it's all, it's all good. Okay, so let's have a look at how we write this configuration. So what we can do is we can use the console command line or we can use the API, but let's take a look at the command line. So the command is console config write and the name of our file, which is ingress.hcl. And that's written there to console. Now, if we read that, we can use the list command to see that that's been written. I need to specify the kind with list, which is going to be ingress gateway. But there we go, that's written in there. If we take a look at the console UI, we click over on the ingress service, you can see that there, there are these upstreams and we have API and we have web. Now, let me just quickly show you what happens when I change that configuration and rewrite it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove web, save that up and write it again. Now, when I look over here at the console UI and refresh, you can see that there's now only one, which is the API. So that's immediately reflected those changes. So let's just put that back. Let's just write it again. Okay, great. So that configuration's back. Now, before we, we curl this endpoint, let's have a look at the configuration, the Envoy configuration that, Envoy, uh, that console is actually generating for us. And we can do that just by looking at the Envoy admin endpoint. So let's just log into our ingress and, and check that out. So I can just use the, um, it's just running into Docker container, but I can use Shipyard to, to get me in there, or I could use Docker exec. So let's just container.ingress and I want bash. Excellent. So if I curl the, the Envoy's admin endpoint, which is pretty much always going to be localhost 19,000 on console service mesh, and I get a config dump, we can see there that the here's the configuration. So I'm just going to scroll back up a bit. So what console is defining here are a number of listeners and various different filter chains. So if I take a look here, we can see a listener that's been um, configured by the console service mesh. And we can see that it's going to be bound to IP address 10.5.0.200 on port 443. And it has this filter chain. So in the filter chain, what it's doing is defining the TLS certificate. So then we've got that TLS cert, which was provided by console and generated by console. And we have the filter. So and we have the filter. So the filter here is using the Envoy's ability to do dynamic filter or dynamic root config. So down here, we've got a root config name, 443. It's another reference. So if I just scroll down, to find the, there we go. There's a dynamic root config that console's generated. You can see there that it's setting up a couple of virtual hosts, one named API, which is bound to this domain and the root, the cluster that is going to reference to is um, going to be, again, it's configured by console. Console service mesh is going to automatically generate a cluster for API and web with all of the various endpoints that are available. But um, that, that's all be set up by console. By, by console, by Envoy, by console, by Envoy, in console, for Envoy. Yeah, you kind of get the picture anyway. <laughs> Let's see how we can curl those endpoints anyway. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to grab 
the certificate from Consul so that we can do a an authenticated, um, well, a validated sort of call. So if you look at the endpoint here now, I'm, I'm just accessing my console server RAM on local host 8500, but the path v1 connect CA routes, what that's going to do is that's going to enable you to obtain the root certificate. And if I just cat that, there we go. So that's a root certificate. So what I can do is I can just curl this. So I'm going to just do curl dash V just to, so we can see the headers and things. CA cert. So I'm going to specify the root cert that I've just downloaded, then the URL. So Shipyard will automatically add fully qualified uh, URIs for the containers and it follows this kind of this um, convention. So it's actually ingress.container.shipyard.run is the container, but if I prefix it web, well, that, that's going to hit the same endpoint and, and we can see that in action. Let's just do this curl. So you can see there, we've got the, the core, we've made the connection. We're using this CA file that we downloaded from the console root. And you can see that uh, the certificate has matched. So it's, it's matched the host web ingress container run in the certs, which is good. And then there's the, the response from the application. So that's pretty cool. So we can say hello from web front end. Let's try this with API. And there we go again, it's working from the, the API. And that's pretty much it. Um, nice sort of an easy feature to use from console there, console ingress gateways. That's uh, 1.8 beta and they're kind of, um, they're coming soon. I think, um, I think it's gonna be pretty, pretty easy to use and some really, really cool new features that are launching in 1.8. So definitely check those things out. But for anybody who's interested and wants to be able to kind of route traffic into their console service mesh in a very easy and very basic way, Ingress gateways, super easy. Ingress gateways don't give you the capabilities of um, ambassador from, from data wire or um, sort of glue or anything like that, but they, they're kind of a very simplistic way. If you just need something easy, just to root stuff in based on header, then they're a very sort of um, out of the box method. If you want something more sophisticated, being able to do open ID connect, uh, more validation on routes, path-based routing and things like that, then definitely check out um, ambassador by data wire or something. But that's all for me. And I hope to see you next time. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. I will put all of the links down below. See you next time.